So before starting my next game, I decided to purchase yet another upgrade to my secondary. I went and purchased the Subchon Gibson. Did I say that right? Fantasy card. He's a uh, free safety, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how he's going to perform. I'm one win away from clinching a playoff berth, so here we go. You can see my opponent's going to hand it off to the Muscle Hamster to begin with. Doug Martin's going to get a gain of 11 yards. So if it isn't broken, why fix it? Let's go back to the guy. He wasn't able to get that much that time. So you can see third and 13, I'm able to stop him. And that actually led to my opponent punting, which is not something you see often in Ultimate Team. So my very first play, I decided to go with the read option, you know, throw a little bit of a curveball at him. And once I usually hit that, I love going to a play action next. So I find Michael Irvin on the crossing route, and he's going to pick up a nice little game for us over there. So later on, second and 13, I'm dropping back, I'm under pressure. I find Dwayne Bow for the first down, and looks like we're just marching, we're doing really well. I go with the read option again, this time it goes to Mark Ingram, and Mark Ingram picks up a ton of yardage, which puts us within five of the end zone, so afterwards RG3 just drops back, finds Michael Irvin, and we go up 7-0. to zero. So, so far it looks like everything's going good, we got a defensive stop, we're in the driver's seat, we're halting his running, and look, I forced another fourth down, he had to punt it again, we get the ball again. And then I give it, give it to Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram gets another large gain. So our everything's working out for us, man. Passing's working out. Running's working out. Everything's just going really good. So look at this play action. Drop back. I find my main man, Michael Irvin, down the middle. Uh, gets us a second and one. Afterwards, on third and three, I drop back with RG3. Take a shot at the end zone. That should have been picked off. I don't know what happened. It looked like it should have been picked off, but I guess I got lucky because that was a poor pass. And then afterwards, I find Michael Crabtree in the end zone for a touchdown. So here comes my opponent. It's the last play of the half. You think it's just going to be a Hail Mary that's probably going to be intercepted, right? No! He somehow pulls this off, and he scores a touchdown, too. So just like that, he's going into the half with some momentum. So it's all good. You know, I'm not rattled or anything, right? I'm not rattled, right? right so on fourth down I go for it and I lose and afterwards he, his run game is starting to look a little bit better and look at this fourth down he's even going for it and this time the muscle hamster is able to get all the way within 10 yards of the end zone so I'm starting to you know sweat a little bit gets and get a bit nervous he goes and runs a little bit of a reverse I believe or an end around play and he and on fourth and goal he's able to do a full back dive and able to in order to get the tie so afterwards rg3 throws an interception in the fourth quarter and at this point it's all but over for me so my opponent does another toss play to doug martin and he's able to score a touchdown again and so you might think the game is over but no you can see i'm gonna hand it off to mark ingram i'm not gonna give up yet so rg3 is gonna drop back on this play Finds his main man down the left-handed side for a game to pick up a first down. Afterwards, another read option to Mark Ingram because it's been working for us, man. If it's working, don't fix it. He doesn't know how to stop it, then I'm going to keep going to it. So afterwards, this time I hand it off to Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram's able to take this all the way to the end zone to tie the game up once more. So this is going to be a two-point conversion. I really want to take the lead, but I'm not able to convert on it, so I still actually do not tie up the game so you know what's gonna happen next I'm gonna go for the onside kick and this is by far probably the highlight of the game so he sees onside kick and he's like oh my hands team isn't out so he calls a timeout so here we go again he brings out his onside kicking unit and this time I squib kick it down the middle nobody is there to catch it and I'm able to recover the squib kick and even more beautifully, I'm already in field goal range. So all I have to do is run out some clock. I hand it off to Mark Ingram to get us a bit closer because I don't have the greatest kicker in the world. And, you know, we're just running out clock at this point. RG3 is able to scramble for some major yardage at this point. And all we have to do is milk the clock. 
kick this field goal and pretty much pull off a robbery on my opponent. What an incredible game. Definitely one of the best ultimate team games I have ever played and what a great maneuver at the end of the game. So you, you guys see up in front of you on your screen RG3. You're wondering why is he my starting quarterback? Well, I found out Colin Kaepernick could sell for quite a large sum of money. I forgot how much I sold him for, but it was a good amount. So I ended up selling him and now I kind of downgraded to RG3. But anyways, you can see we clinched a playoff berth so in in celebration of that I decided to go ahead and play another game because I felt like I was on my game at that point so here comes RG3 he's gonna drop back he's gonna find Dwayne Bow on the very first play of this game and what a large game 40 yards so afterwards we're gonna drop back run a screenplay with Mark Ingram Mark Ingram's gonna bump into his O lineman and then eventually gets taken down but it's all good you know if it isn't broken why fix it go back to Mark Ingram on the top play he's gonna get us a touchdown just like that we go up seven to zero so my opponent gets the ball back and this is probably gonna be a kickoff return for a touchdown right wrong I'm able to knock the ball loose Paul Puslutsny is able to take this all the way for yet another touchdown so that's two touchdowns in the matter of two plays so afterwards he's dropping back on third and 16 Patrick Willis is there to intercept it and I'm able to take it pretty deep into his territory. So afterwards, RG3 is going to drop back. He's going to find Michael Crabtree. And we're going to go up 21-0. to zero. So moving on to the second half, third and 15 for my opponent. He's going to throw up this lob. And I believe that's Brandon Marshall comes down with it. Afterwards, second and nine, he's going to drop back with RG3. And he's looking, looking, looking. He's able to get a nice scramble. Look at that. He shook me. Wow. In my own video. But he fumbles it at the end. Doesn't matter. He still retains possession. Later on in the drive, RG3 drops back. He throws a very questionable pass. And Kaysen's able to pick that off and return it for about 20 yards-ish. So... Here comes RG3 dropping back, running the screen pass again. And look at this. This time, no blockers are going to block in front of Mark Ingram. He has daylight right in front of him. He's able to take this all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. So at this point, my opponent's like, all right, it's 28 to 0. The flight mic's kicking my ass. There's no point in playing anymore. I have a life to live. And he's going to go ahead and quit at some point within the next couple seconds. But if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you want more Madden Ultimate Team. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and follow your boy on Twitter. The link's in the description. I'm your boy, the flight mic, and I'm out.